Hi there, if you watch my videos, you know how much I love reading on my Kindle, but you also know how much I dislike that Amazon charges $20 to remove lock screen advertisements from the Kindle. I believe reading should be a mindful and present activity that does not contain advertisements, but unfortunately companies like Amazon have alternative motives that want to make more money by recommending books for you to buy. At the end of the day, Amazon is a company that has to make money, so I respect that part of it, but I don't like the fact that they charge $20 for advertisements on a Kindle. They are a big enough company where I don't think they have to be doing this. Imagine a company like Apple, for example, that charged money to remove advertisements from the lock screen. For big companies like Apple and Amazon, doing advertisements like this really makes no sense. Today, I really wanna spend a few minutes diving deep into this topic of advertisements on e-readers. This is because Kobo, Kindle's biggest competitor, just released a firmware update that is adding advertisements to their device. The first thing I wanna talk about in this video though is what exactly counts as an ad. Then after that, we'll talk about the changes that Kobo is making. So let's first actually discuss what classifies as an advertisement on a Kindle. Now on a Kindle, the obvious one are the law lock screen ads. If you buy a Kindle, you'll see an option to pay $20 to not have lock screen advertisements on your device. These are basically direct ads for Amazon services or products like Alexa or even book recommendations directly on your Kindle lock screen when the Kindle is in sleep mode. Now, one important thing to note, depending where you live, you may not even see this option for lock screen ads. Outside of America, this option is not even present. It's just baked into the price of the Kindle. But in America, you do have the choice between lock screen ads or no ads. Now, with this being said, outside of lock screen ads, Amazon does have one form of advertisement that every Kindle has no matter where you live and those are the book recommendations you see in the Kindle experience on your home screen. Now to be fair, a lot of people in the world really do appreciate these book suggestions from Amazon. They are suggesting books that they think you might be interested in. Now for me, I don't like this. I like to buy books that I want to buy without influence from reviews or algorithms or anything like that. And it just doesn't feel nice to me that I'm being forced to look at these book recommendations from an algorithm when I don't want to see them. I usually get all my book suggestions from YouTubers or other people on the internet who have similar interests to me. And actually on Kindle, there used to be a setting buried in there where you can disable the home screen view and that would actually completely remove all the book suggestions that your Kindle was showing you. But last year with their big software update that was released, they completely removed that option. So now you're forced to see this home screen every time you open up your Kindle. Now, yes, you can just go to the library tab on the Kindle and completely ignore the home tab, which contains all the book suggestions but for people like myself who buy a lot of Kindle books it really annoys me that they removed the setting that was there before that made my life a lot better by not having to see those book suggestions for die-hard Kindle people who actually buy a lot of books on their Kindle they probably don't want to see all these recommendations and there was a setting for it before so the fact that they removed it is really telling in the direction that Amazon wants to go in we'll have to see what the future holds for Kindle devices I really hope the future does not hold any drastic changes that bring even more ads that would be really really bad but we'll have to see next let me talk about Kobo because Kobo is Kindle's biggest competitor in and for a long time, up until today, they did not have advertisements on their device. But recently with the software update, what they're doing is some Kobo users are seeing this ad pop up when waking up their Kobo from sleep mode for the Kobo Plus subscription. This is basically Kobo's equivalent of Kindle Unlimited. Now this is a big deal because Kobo has never placed direct advertisements promoting any of their services or products directly on their Kobo before. Just like Kindle, they do have book suggestions baked into the software experience, that is normal. But in terms of actual advertisements, that has never made its way to Kobo before. I love Kobo so much, look how minimalist this is, no lock screen ads, they are a very minimalist design company. So the fact that they're adding advertisements is a big red flag to me and a lot of people who use Kobos. Now, a couple important things to mention about this update. The people who saw this Kobo advertisement only saw it one time. They woke up their Kobo from sleep mode, they saw the Kobo Plus promotion, and then after that, they never saw 
saw it again. So this is very, very different than what we have on Kindle where they show a lock screen ad every single time if you don't pay money to remove them. The second thing to know is Kobo is only showing these promotions in select countries and the USA is not one of them. This is really important because America is one of the biggest markets for book retailers. So the fact that they're not showing these promotions in America yet is a sign that something is up. My theory is Kobo is just collecting data right now. They're testing the waters with this new update to see if this actually makes a difference to their bottom line. And if it does make a significant increase in sales for them, I have a feeling we'll be seeing more and more of these promotions make their way to the Kobo software, and it will definitely make its way to the America market if they're seeing an increase in book revenue. Most importantly, Kobo is slated to release some new e-readers later this year. Notably, the Kobo Clara 2 is coming out very, very soon. So we'll have to see if there's gonna be advertisements on these new devices. Maybe they're just doing some testing now before they release all these new hardware devices. What are your thoughts on advertisements on e-readers? Leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also like my video comparing Kindle and Kobo head to head. We talk about all the other differences outside of ads. Link for that video on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.